Oh, baby, you know I could not stay away. Let's just be honest here. We're talking about Costco earnings. A little bit late, obviously, as we're talking about throughout the day and they reported yesterday in the after hours. But, you know, we've been busy, okay? We're talking about it. If I'm being 100% clear with you, this 2% drop we've seen today honestly does not have anything to do with earnings, in my opinion. This is a broader market sell-off, if you haven't noticed. It's a rough day today, so not necessarily fair to say that this is the reaction of the earnings, um, but uh, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> let's uh, let's get into these earnings and we can actually take a peek at this bad boy uh, and get a better idea, um, see, see what might have happened here. So, first off, you see great numbers on the GAP EPS standpoint, 292 versus a 13 cent line, which for me basically shows me that they uh, have a lot more membership income than obviously was uh, originally anticipated by analysts. That's the main source of their profit here in their um, gap net income is going to be the membership income seeing as it's a 100% subscription service which is 100% 100 percent uh, margin. You'd keep every single bit, all of it is profit. Pretty nice to see in that aspect. Uh, now from a revenue perspective another really really nice number, 51.9 billion grew 15.9% year over year, beats by 390 million. Now we're talking about two sequential years of growth over 10%. I mean, that's quite incredible at a Costco. Uh, when we're getting into the, I mean, you know, 50 billions, I mean, that's that's quite a lot of money to still be growing 10 plus percent. We're talking about 5 billion plus dollar gross year over year. I mean, in this case, closer to seven, but still, it's, it's uh, really closer to eight, I should say. Fantastic. Now we're going to look at the press release, look at some of the finer details as well, but so far I really like this data, and again the initial reaction was positive, so again I, I think it's the broader market sell off going on right now, because this, this data at least is fantastic. Now one thing you have to note about Costco's um, investor relations page, now this, if you're telling me this did not come from the year 2003. I mean, honestly, it, it definitely did. They have not updated this this <laughs> web page in probably 15 years, at least. I mean, do, do you see how old this looks? Not to bash on them, but look, they're not spending money on the investor relations page. That's all I'm telling you. I mean, even the font, you know, this is, you can even tell from the hyperlinks, this is something that is, look, it's, it's ancient. It's gone with the times, but that's okay. We're going to continue. Uh, to talk about some good stuff here. So, what goodies do we have? First off, they start with comp sales. Very fantastic. Net sales increased 16.1% for the quarter. Um, and net sales for the first 24 weeks uh, increased 16.4. Very nice. Obviously, that's six months, um, six months time. So, really good to see that. In the U.S., uh, what do we see? Great, 15.8% growth in the 12 weeks span. Canada, 16. Other international, 6.2, uh, which is 14.4 for the total company, and a 12.5% when you're talking about e-commerce, which is nice because it's not necessarily what you think about with Costco, but the fact that they're able to actually succeed in uh, the e-commerce business, growing even double digits there is fantastic um, because it, it really offers up a whole new variety of customers for them that maybe don't want to go into a Costco because it's always crowded now they do get lines down really quickly but it's always packed on a Costco so maybe not the environment for everyone but if they could purchase it online they certainly will net income came in at 1.3 billion dollars um, last year's second quarter net income was 951 million so uh, pretty nice increase there uh, I like to see that so yeah I mean that's that's pretty nice um, for the first six months, uh, we are looking at uh, 2.6 billion of net income, so um, about relevant to where it was this quarter, about the same, a little bit more, but nothing crazy. That compares to 2.12 billion of the year prior. So again, continual growth on that aspect by a good amount. Um, actually, a really, really fairly good amount there. Pretty excited about that. So, yeah, I don't know about you, but I. Enjoy that. I just noticed that Seeking Alpha for some reason calls this quarter four. This is not Q4 for Costco. This is Q2, folks. You got to understand this. 
Seeking Alpha, they they be, they losing the trust sometimes. Um, currently uh, operating 828 warehouses, very nice. Obviously, as we saw, um, expansions continual for them. They continue to expand. Um, what other goodies uh, from a net sales perspective? You see the comparisons year over year. Membership fees continuing to grow year over year, which is very very nice, and we like to see that because that's a lot of profit. And again, you can see where a lot of that comes from. When you talk about membership fees, um, for the quarter they made $1.3 billion. $967 million of that was off membership fees. So a vast majority of the profit is uh, driven via membership fees. So the more they're able to grow memberships, the better they can go in that aspect. So really nice to see. Um, and obviously, net income line looking very nice. It's looking very nice. We do have the balance sheet too. I love a balance sheet. Um, we'll see. Normally retailers aren't the greatest balance sheets, I would say. I mean, they're not usually fantastic. They usually carry a lot of debt, but we're, we're going to see. Um, total current assets here, it's in at 32.5 compared to 29.5. Biggest growth here is going to be on the inventories line, which you're going to see with every retailer, nearly every company right now selling products. Um, you're going to see this inventories line increase year over year. Pretty significant. Uh, in this case, it's actually a six-month comparison, but still, you're going to see this number um, continue to rise over last year because, again, supply chain constraints, as they say. Uh, total assets in general is 63 billion compared to 59.2. Um, nothing really grew massively in the long term. Most of it was due to the short-term uh, growth there. So, uh, liabilities from a liability standpoint, uh, total current liabilities at 31.5 compared to 29.4. Uh, increased by a little bit less than the total current assets did. Uh, growth in the accounts payable line here, so nothing super crazy and other current liabilities. Not sure what those are, but um, they don't mention it, but nothing crazy. Total liabilities in general 43.1 compared to 41.1. So they did grow assets by, um, uh, you know, around $2 billion more than they did uh, liability, so we should see equity rise right around by two billion, nineteen point nine compared to eighteen billion. Um, so yeah, shareholder equity here at nineteen point nine billion. It's a very nice balance sheet when you're talking about a retailer, and I really like the company's core business model when you talk about the um, profit aspect given by subscription model. Really nice to see, um, and it's inflation proof. I mean, it really is. Um, because that's not going to affect their bottom line if the membership fees stay consistent. Now there are talks that they could raise the membership fees, and if they do, it'll be a travesty. Honestly, to, you know, if Costco's raised the membership fees even more because they just did um, a few years back, actually too. But that's okay. I mean, people will still buy into the memberships. But you know, um, inflation's hitting everyone, unfortunately. But the more they raise membership fees, you got to consider that just means more profit for them because they're not paying for that membership to exist. It's just profit, so really nice to see in that aspect. Now the stock is still trading very expensive. We're talking about 52-week high of $571. Uh, 52-week lows down at 307. So this thing's it's up massively, 63% over the last year. So you have to consider this. Uh, this could be a problem. You know, it's it's highly valued at over 42 PE ratio, very high for a retailer, and a market cap of 231 billion isn't necessarily the end of the world um, because when you consider when you look at a um, total revenue line here um, for the full year they bring in right around 200 uh, I believe it's 210 billion last year somewhere no last year they did 190 billion I think so um, I mean it's right around there but normally you'll hover around a price of sales of one for these retailers that's what I got for you today I still like Costco stock for a long-term hold but the valuation is a little high right now, folks. Hope you have a great day.